kind of funny how um, they hide so many like dream secrets or hide so many secrets and like life secrets, existence secrets in TV shows, like anime and shit, anime and stuff and junk. Naturally, I had already been kind of studying mudras anyway. So uh, when I saw this ninja guy in um, there's a manga called uh, "Strongest Disciple Kenichi," or yeah, I think "Strongest Disciple Kenichi" or something, something like that. Kenichi, just look up K E N I C H I. That's it. Kenichi. So, there's this guy he has to fight who's an actual shinobi. And he's showing him mudras. One of which was this, which is kind of like a... um. They, You got to watch anime if you want to hear some wild shit. Like, they explain the science on some shit. Like, <laughs> dude, said, dude said he did his hand like this because that's the uh, primal grip. It's the primal grip for like apes use for climbing trees and he said it was he used it to activate certain muscles and to increase his grip and his grip strength so that when he grabbed him it was on some other shit so the problem with people now is they have to be told by somebody else's word. They have to see something that everybody's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's the truth. Before and they still don't even know it then. But before they can even consider something as possible. I think that's the purpose of the inner child and the the reason behind them trying to strip away or strip you or strip people away from their naturally growing spirit. So, you're like, oh, well, this is just fake shit. I just had a Christian tell me something. I had a Christian tell me. Um, I was explaining the multiverse of mad, um, most multiverse of madness to him, and telling him how they were dropping the truth in it. Like, they outright said, like, wait, so you mean dreams are, um, uh, dreams give us access to the multiverse? Like dreams are the multiverse. You're in the dream now. I'm gonna attach some videos at the end of this because y'all gotta know that. Well, maybe I just drop them in the description. The whole multiverse concept is cellular. <laughs> it's all of it, whole thing. It's cellular. It's multiversal. It's universal inside of the body, not not just inside the body, because a lot of times. <laughs> I just watched a video where a guy was describing the hermetic, uh, or he was, yeah, li- loosely describing the hermetic um, tradition, basically how they believe that uh, we are in the mind of God, like the whole universe is mental, or they knew that. I'm not even going to say believe, because a lot of people want to say like, oh, well, there's no way, there's only a couple things that we kind of, I guess, can't know, right? Because you can't say you know what we you know what can't be known. That's like saying you know everything that is known. We got to drill that into people's heads because we got a lot of slogan sayers out here that don't know what they mean. Like, for example, take that with a grain of salt. Motherfuckers be out here saying, take that with a thousand grains of salt. I'm like, bro, you trying to give me high blood pressure? Now I got to take another pill. It's the whole point. It's about medication. Take it with a grain of salt means... Uh, it's not so disruptive to your digestive system. You don't need any assistance in digesting it by, you know, eating food. So you you need less to process it, is the point. People don't even think about the origins of things, man. <laughs> Try to tell people that the word bless comes from to cover with blood and bledson. It's like, wait a minute, what, what does that refer to? You don't even know your own stories can't even apply it where there's things in it that you call evil now but then of course when it's brought up and it's explained to you clearly you'll be like oh but that's different 
So anyway, in this movie, Scarlet Witch, they like, she has power over the reality. She's a mother. She's a mother looking for her children. But she has no children. But she does have children in every other universe except for hers. Because she is the blood queen. She is the marrow. She is the source of the physical reality. She is the source of all cells. Hence, she can manipulate all cells. But what's cool is she went into herself. She went into her own neural neural makeup and got into another life. I'm talking slow on purpose because I will like this show. <laughs> I was like, talk slow, man. Talk slow. And had to put me on 0.75 or something. He said, that's fantasy. I'm telling you from experience. You're telling me from a book. Guess where the movie came from? A book. A comic book. So it's cool for you to be believing a guy is going to come back from the dead. A guy who walked on water. Who made miracles, right? And the book got other people in it. I mean, <laughs> Solomon has super strength, bro. Are you serious? What was he, right? Wait a minute. Crazy. That they can't tell that the what the gods are and how they how they represent still internal cons, internal not not super deep internal. I'm talking about physically internal. Well, no. That's not true. Actually no, it go, it, it's layer. It does go it does go that far. Like the trials of Osiris, you can match that if you go closer toward the physical, then you can match that to the amygdala. I mean, that's the amygdala is basically the whole the whole thing for for God and his dark half or the light, the light and dark twins. Or I mean, Adam and Eve is technically the two hemispheres, but then the fruit of the tree in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even I'm trying to explain that to them and how. Everything has been compartmentalized, so people don't know how to how to bridge things anymore. They don't know how to make connections to things anymore. So everything seems separate. When it's like we're like everything is being told to us. This is how people think. They gotta tell us what they're gonna do to us before they do it. That's what they that's what they believe. Okay, well, then you don't think that they also have to tell us or that they might be showing us how to stop it. it could be a double snare, but I don't think so. I think it's so obvious. I think it's so obvious. And here's how you know. The things that I say, the things that I'm willing to accept... To a lot of people who are programmed, first off, to not even know what their bodies are and to be able to connect how everything functions around us back to them. And I'm not talking about the thing that we built on top of it, because when we do this, we mow nature down. And like, oh, but we got these lots, maybe. Either way, man, these trees don't go that deep. There's a lot of trees out here, but they don't go that deep. They ain't that old. These motherfuckers, they plant them in bags. <laughs> but they're but they're cool. No offense. No offense. No offense. I swear, no offense. No offense. You still, they still perform the process. It, it's still right in front of us here. The Taurus, right in front of us. The Taurus. And then it's just like, oh, well, what's the rebus? I don't know. Why don't you connect the back of the head to the heel up the leg and then do it the same on the other side? Or how about we go back and we look at um the story of Narcissus? Oh, why did I do that fucking weird accent? <laughs> the story of Nar Narcissus. I don't know why. Just Sissus just don't sound right to me. Instinctively, it's just like that sounds kind of dumb. But still. The painting of Narcissus, him leaning over the water, 
falling in love with his reflection. Notice, notice the shape that it makes. That's the thing I'm telling you to draw. That's the, that's the secret symbol that's right in front of us. That's the rebus. That's the rebus. And it's the truth. It's the truth. And it's actually the light. And it's like the fucking only way. <laughs> it's crazy. Because that form, that form, just look at look at sun luminescence. That form, that form is the darkness that creates light. And what, wait a minute. What? Darkness doesn't create light. That means you didn't just go look up sonoluminescence. Because you could say that it was pressure. You could say that it was pressure. But what happens when you uh, take your hands like this? Take your hands like this. And there's something, something soft in your hands. And you push them together like this. You push both hands together like this. What happens? Now it's like, you know, that was crushed toward the middle, right? So then if there's this force that's being applied from all sides, even because you can do this spherically as well. If there's pressure that's being applied evenly, something else is happening. And that's why in the Smarter Everyday video, when those uh, when a bullet made that pathway, when the tunnels closed, they close like this. It's, they close like two triangles. It's, it's the six point. It's the it's the this and the this. That's the secret to Mercury. That's why this. That's why if you flip this upside down, you can see the Ankh. This is the whole story. <laughs> this is the whole story. Right here. Merchandise in the description box below. No, I'm just playing. I gotta get more of these motherfuckers. I had a whole bag of them. I tried to show this to a person, you know? I tried to show this to, to people. And they just can't um they just can't get it. It's, it's told to us in regular regular ass science. It's told to us in fairy tales, fairy tales, and uh, science. Period. I know I said that already. Shut up. <laughs> and science and um, what's that shit called? Science. <laughs> magic. Because magic. Hold on. Wait a minute. First off. First off. The thing that you're scared to do is to accept the truth. People want science to be on one side and magic to be on the other. But then if magic is uh, causing change in accordance with the will, with your own will, with your own intention, then what, what's happening here? What's happening here? What's the origin of will? Science means knowing. Does science know the origin of will? Oh, it stops in your head, but then you see all of this around you. Oh, well, your head is making it. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all de both. <laughs> Y'all de both. I think it had a V in it because then that makes sense. And the Bs in Latin and uh, Hebrew, they swap. So, y'all de both. Bah. The yod hey vav hey thing. The thing that that did this thing. The thing that is this thing, the thing that they're describing at the very beginning, too. It's not all physical. That doesn't mean it's all physical. Because there still has to be a source, and if the source can't be explained, if it can't be explained, then what the fuck does science know? So if you look at Iron Soft, right? You know, I've said this so many times, I just never upload my videos. I make videos and I don't upload them. What the fuck's the point? What's the point? You want people to know you've been trying. You've been trying. All the persecution that comes with talking to people about this is ridiculous. Bro. You 
want to talk about agitation. Motherfuckers like, I can believe what I want to believe. And it's just like, what's funny is, this is that. And they never ask any questions. Look, look, this is, that's another stupid ass slogan. People can believe what they want to believe, but you can't believe that you can make them see what you're trying to say. Because they believe that you're trying to change them because they believe that they're static, that they're unmoving. But you can't have contradiction and be unmoving. And it's okay to be relaxed in your, if you find a way to be like, oh, I understand this. You can be unmovable in changing and growing and knowing. You can be unmovable in a choice to learn in your own path still. Because if you take a Taurus, it's not just an apple. It's pears. It's bananas. It's pineapples. It's tomatoes. It's raspberries. It's strawberries. It's it lilt in trees. It lilt in tea. It lilt in teas. It lilt in seas. It lilt in pogey wogies. <laughs> Little Tim Pogi Wogies, man. Don't you know that? Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. They got you scared of the truth. They got you scared of it. You're talking about you waiting for a so-called antichrist. And I try to explain to people, you're way behind the curve, dog. The antichrist is anti-magic. It's soul killing. <laughs> It's soul killing. They put this right in front of you. Watch his dark materials might drop. I'm not saying that his his dark materials has the cosmology correct. But what they're saying is ingenious because there is a thing on the throne that doesn't belong there. It's a lie. It's a lie. So, at the same time, um, whatever, man, I don't know, right? You go, here's the thing, here's the thing people don't understand about, first off, hell means the sun, so it makes sense that they made it fiery in that sense, but then um, the the inferno was actually in, uh, originally called the invier or in Viernos, which means the depths of winter, it was a frozen place. Now, fire, ice, who gives a fuck? Those are both horrible, right? But they, if you don't understand how those um, forces represent, uh, and I know a cult is going to be so mad at me for saying electromagnetism, but it's the thing that humanity understands. It's a, it's a thing that humanity can go to where they can see an invisible force having an impact on a structure that's causing it to have a shape that is found throughout nature. So when I say a Taurus, they're not going to give a fuck about that. Oh, Taurus, why, why, why does that matter? That's just that. Oh, a shape. A force. When you go, there's a force. That if you look at it, it does this thing. And this thing that it does replicates throughout all things. It replicates throughout all things. What does that mean? You got arteries and you got veins. I talked to somebody about this shit. Oh, yeah, but that doesn't create what? Oh, it's not fast enough because it has to be of a different substance or it has to be of the same substance as that that thing that made it easier for you to see. By Losofi. By Philosophia. 
five. It's five, bro. And they put it right in front of everybody. You can't hide it. You can't hide it. Even if it deviates slightly from its structure, you can't hide it because the only way it got there is through that. You know, it's funny how I explain. So I've done this in the video already and I just didn't upload it. I'm going to upload it later. It's going to be like me talking in the past, but in the future. It's good on me. But, uh, shit. What was I talking about? So, <laughs> I just duped myself. Oh, man. Right. They can't hide it because it's right in front of us where I was. Even if it deviates because it's still... Oh, yeah, yeah. I was talking to somebody about... Um, I was talking to somebody about how fruit right first off if you eat fruit you aren't killing unless you eat it oh, i mean unless you got the bugs on the on the fruit in that case yeah you you murking you murking bugs you murking hella bugs or they're murking you because they're in your fucking system in your digestive system and that's where they want it to be oh no you might be facilitating life after all hmm hmm Unless you bite into it and it's a worm, and that motherfucker's like, oh shit! Damn! This hotel is some bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking regrow. <laughs> ah, I got two asses! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. It's a bite. It's just like, does it grow another head or does it grow another ass? <laughs> Speaking of worms, right? But before I get before I get into worms, I'm a, I remember that because we're talking about fruit right now. The fruit is the cellular structure that holds the point that holds the the seeds. The seeds. It's basically like a placenta. It's like this. It's like the sac around the life form. And it has things inside of it that are nutritious to it, but those seeds don't always get out of those apples. They have to be, they or the apple, the fruit, whatever, whatever, whatever has the seeds that are internal. They have to get out. So, and not only that, they have to be clean. And some animals' digestive systems also help to clean those seeds so that they uh, they actually grow. So, eating fruit does not kill it. Eating seeds, though, is killing. Eating roots is killing. Eating stalks, potentially killing. But eating fruit is not killing. So get this, right? I forgot to mention, because he was like, oh, yeah, then, oh, but the seeds, like, it's the male component, you would think, right? The seed is the male component, but it's a cell within a cell that contains... The, the plant that contains the tree that then takes on the shape of the fruit and it produces more fruit that produces more seeds that produce more sproutlings. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, that's obviously like, oh, we heard that already. We heard that a thousand fucking times by now. But still, it's a container that contains a container that contains a container of more containers and more containers and more containers. Oh, that contain more containers. But those containers are also points points of life or perspective or perspective, perception, existence, consciousness. Just say fucking consciousness. So then here's the secret with Ein Sof. To me, there's a secret. I don't care what nobody says. Look, somebody else probably figured it out already. I, I didn't even translate the words on the damn thing, which I should have. No, anyway, anyway, names of God, I think, are on it, 62 names or something like that. Anyway. 
I ask the question. Where does God come from? And could you imagine that God, the thing that you're calling God, or the, the, the thing that is the, the source that you, we believe is the source of the dream, the source of the light, the source of the light. So that's how you create matter, I think, personally. I mean, because that's what they talk about. There's a great flash, and that flash leaves soot. And that's the secret. And she's the secret. She's the black serpent. But anyway, um, anyway, stop, <laughs> stop, I'm not going there. If you, if you try to find that source, right? Imagine, imagine that for a moment, if you're not a Christian, if you are a Christian, buckle the fuck up or jump out, tuck and roll, bro. Tuck and roll, tuck and roll, please. Imagine that you're God and you were born, not not even born. You experienced entering a dream that you made sense of to be a baby in at the very beginning. And then as a baby, you still have dreams, right? As you grow, you still have dreams. And imagine... You're visiting all these other worlds. What if you could go into someone else's dream? Who would be the God there? You can go to these dreams and you can change them. Your own dreams, you can change them. You can change the, the whole environment, create new things, experiment even on what, what it is that you can do. Or even if you go into dreams and they like, they're like lifetimes. What if... What if you just dream yourself being in another dream that was a life to that to that perspective? What if you just shift the perspectives? What that's really what that is. I don't want to go into that because there's some mad scientists, motherfuckers trying to get out, and you can, and you can, and when you start doing weird shit, you can be like, "Oh fuck, this is what they talk about." And they say, "Oh, you lose grip on reality." And you be like, "Oh shit, reality ain't." Even what the hell we believe it is, what we told it is. We just flipping through this shit. But I was going to talk about something. I promised to talk about something. I'm probably have to play this back to remember that one. I was going to talk about... Anyway, get out of there. Get out of there. Um, dream. Dream. Oh, yeah, the black serpent. Oh, fuck. I'm not going to talk about the black serpent right now, actually. I'm sorry. I got to revoke that promise. <laughs> I, it wasn't a promise anyway at first. I just, well, yeah, it was. I would do it. But... Nah, it just wasn't that. But that, that does need to be explained. I, well, not explain. That does need to be demystified and needs to stop being demonized, even though it is fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? People talk about Ouroboros, but they don't realize what the mouth of a snake looks like. You want to call the universe Ouroboros? Oh, Mary, me, oh, my. You don't know what's between them thighs. <laughs> Sweetest berries, put it in a pie. <laughs> oh, man. Let me shut the fuck up. I'm a fucking pervert. I'm a pervert. Don't listen to me. Anyway. Yeah, stop. 
And that's another fucked up thing about it, right? So look, so look, if you actually, I think, I think there's some people that just have an affinity for it and you get into it and you don't run away from it and you, uh, you seek into it and you find things out about reality and then you don't, you still don't stop, but talking to people about it, I have a theory, and this is a reason why, uh, this is only one reason why not to do this. Let me discourage you. Let me discourage you from um, going deeper into your dreams. Let me discourage you from astral projections and out of body, quote unquote, out of body experiences or alternate body experiences. I'm going to tell you, don't do it because. If you have love, if you have people in your life, if you have a comfortable dream that you would like to stay in, you play the game. Just play the game. Because um, once you do that, it, it just won't, you won't be, you won't be you anymore. You'll be you. You'll be absolutely you to the fucking fullest extent you but to them but to them you really should probably not talk about it or do it it's evil it's the devil it's the devil it's the devil the evil spirits waiting for you they want to Jump into your body. <laughs> what the fuck, man? This is hilarious. Nobody considers that. Except except in Multiverse of Madness, they actually considered that she got into her life and then she started being reckless. Imagine going into another life of yours and you like, oh, you know, you your perception is loose from the rules from the boundaries of what physical reality is so it's all malleable and so you just do you you walk on the wind <laughs> you do whatever whatever not not saying like like harming people not harming people unless they're trying to harm you which is the fucking thing which is why you probably shouldn't do it because that thing with Inception is crazy. I think it's protocols in place, even though I don't know if it's a machine. I don't think it's a machine. But there's protocols for sure. In certain dream spaces, it's some shit, man. It's some shit that happens. I, like, I got to the point where I could recognize when my thoughts were creating scenarios and shit. Like, like you can hear. Uh, it's, like, it's like they're at a subtle speed. If that makes any sense. It's like those thoughts are at a subtle speed. And there's like a like above thoughts. And the the subtle thoughts create the scenarios, it creates the dialogues and all this other stuff. I mean what you can't what you catch on to that is you be like, all right, this is gone. What? You shut it down. Shut it down. Imagine, imagine, imagine that this is what this world is. And I'm just fucking everything up. fucking everything up but they be trying to fuck me up <laughs> people be trying to fuck me up you know what i mean all like all i'm doing is going and taking my hits and moving you know what i'm saying like fuck. the agitation is real the agitation is real if you don't have the experience of if you don't know what it's like to be a kid to be a young person, not even person, a young, uh, young, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say humans, a young, whatever you are, <laughs> in this thing, in a little body, and you like,
No, 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 no. What the fuck did I do to get here? I can't relate to nobody. That sucks, honestly. It's crazy. I think, uh, what if what if me wanting to uh, teach people any of this is like, yo, everybody or some people actually be like me so I won't be alone. But if you know how that works, you know, if you've seen any time travel movie, if you've seen any time travel, if you've seen Rick and Morty, then you know how that is. Or, well, you don't know how it is. You don't know how it is, but you know what I'm talking about. You can you can compare it to something. There's something in your mind where you see like, oh, well, if you're by yourself, then no matter what world you go to, even if you can find your own, it's without technology, because he has technology to do it. If you had technology to accurately pinpoint or if you could do it yourself, which, I mean, you do have it or whatever, you do have it. But if you could go back to where you came from, if you go back to the, because they always do the time travel thing, they, they start trying to fix everybody's things, you know, they, they lose their focus. They lose their focus and they try to have everything. And then the guy, uh, there's like one guy that messes something up and he tries to go back and fix it by himself. And then his friends forget because they're not the same people anymore. He's the same person. They're somewhere else. They're in another cell. They're in another door. And so, and it's a funny thing. It's what I call um, uh, this guy, he just, uh, Marty Glenn, uh, seriously into black holes. Like he really wanted to say they existed. And he saw the picture of what they showed, and it was garbage. And then the depictions that they show was always the circle with the line going through it. The circle with the line going through it is what happens when two forces, uh, well, not even just two forces, two forces, when, when, the, when the thing happens, <laughs> when the thing happens, when, when, when the thing, when the thing does the thing, I should put a circle on one of them. I, I want to do a design where it's a full circle around it. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Hit these. I might even do one where it's closed and with the sword down. Just to do like uh, uh, the Octahedron, which is supposed to be the platonic style that, that uh, represents the wind. But then it's like, um, if you turn it the right way, then it becomes, if you turn it and you manipulate it, it becomes like the hourglass. It becomes the six-pointed star. It becomes basically saying the symbol for fire, air and fire. So it's like, okay, octahedron. Oh yeah, it's also it's also. I'm not I'm not going into that. Listen, I think this video is going on too long. This shit ended up 38 minutes long. I apologize. Maybe you got something out of that. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you just got a. I'm crazy. I don't know. I really was just over here like, dog. That's me shutting my, just not wanting to talk about emotional shit. Like, damn, what if I do? Gotta be someone else here. It's like, nah. And then you find one. I don't, I don't think we get along with each other. I don't think, imagine that shit. The story of Jesus is him getting together a bunch of motherfuckers that got the, that get it, that get it. And they not fighting each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just like, oh, hell yeah. I got a version of the story too. I got some shit too. Watch this, watch this. Niggas freestyling, bro. You listen to the Pistons Sophia, them dude, they freestyling. They freestyling. They freestyling the scripture. They freestyling. Do you understand that? And she said, like, what? Imagine that, that there are actual chapters 
spoken or orated by women. Christians are dumb. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that you're not smart. I'm not saying that you can't do physical things well. I'm not saying you can't do technical stuff. But God damn. What? What?